Skip it up and that up. So it's official. It's happening. The mainstream media is winning. A murderer actually used video games as an excuse as to why he killed people. It's all downhill from here, folks. A 22-year-old guy from Idaho named Adam Dees was convicted of murdering three people, and he told authorities that his addiction to video games, first-person shooter games, is what made it easier for him to commit these crimes. Now, according to police, and I quote right from their Ada County Sheriff department blog when asked specifically about the murders d said it wasn't that difficult for him because he had done so much killing in video games now the people d's killed were 80 year old ted welp 77 year old elaine welp and their son 52 year old thomas welp d's told detectives that he was depressed and suicidal when he killed these people he robbed and murdered the family after finding their home on google maps now of course the article read references a counselor from Riverside Behavioral Health named Jamie McManus. And I kind of like what she says here, though. Uh, she's saying that people with existing mental illnesses may be more likely to be affected by entertainment such as video games. And she says by entertainment, not just video games. So it's one of the few times where she isn't looking to attack video games. She also says this here, and, uh, and I quote it verbatim from her. If you are a relatively healthy and socially stable child, you may do just fine exposed to video games. If you already have have some difficulties emotionally or social, you may really need some limits. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, oh, Rich, it still sounds like she's blaming video games. She's not, though. She's She isn't doing that, that crusade attack that a lot of people do saying, oh, this is proof right here. He, he said video games or it made it easier for him to kill people. So it's just video games. Video games are very dangerous and kids shouldn't play them. Like, you know, I've done articles before in it, guys, where people have straight up attacked video games. She's saying, look, any kind of entertainment including video games if someone's already off it may not be a good idea for them to play the games so i gotta give her credit she she was a little more sound-minded than most psychologists and counselors are when things like this happen and they talk about video games so it really isn't that bad but moving on from that i kind of went off on a tangent so what scares the hell out of me is that when pieces of shit like this dude this adam d's start to use mediums, whether it be books, television, or now video games, as a cop-out for why they committed murders or what made it easier for them to commit murders, is that this means that the mainstream media, the conditioning that they've done to make people think that video games are the devil, is working. Because for him to say that, it was an excuse. So now he, he's looking he's looking for an excuse to say, oh, it wasn't just me. It was me playing these games all the time that made it easier for me to commit these murders. If it wasn't for the games, maybe I wouldn't have the stomach to do it. Let, let me explain something to all the idiots that will buy into this, okay? It's much different when you point a, a, a pixel gun or a 3D gun in a video game on a screen at somebody and press a button than it is when you actually pull the trigger in real life or when you stab someone or when you see a bullet go through somebody and blood spatters all over the place and their breathing is erratic and you see them scared and they die for someone to be able to do something like that it takes a different kind of human being nothing no medium can make someone do they already have to be conditioned and they already have to have those bad fucking genes to begin with okay there's plenty of people including myself who play violent video games who haven't murdered anybody who wouldn't have the stomach to murder anybody you are born with it or something else happened in your life to me to a make you be able to do it you can't sit there oh you know i play call of duty so now i could totally slit someone's throat come on man it's a totally doing something in a video game or seeing it in a movie or reading it in a book is always totally different than doing it in real life you cannot say that a video game can condition somebody to murder what scares the crap out of me is that now video games are officially being used by murderers like this guy Adam Dees as an excuse. It, 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 like I said, it's penned the mainstream media with all the bullshit they've talked about with violent video games. It's now penetrated the mainstream and now it's being used as an excuse like people have used books in the past and movies. So now video games are going to be 
in people's line of fire. Once a story like this goes national, now people are going to use it as an excuse to say, oh, you know, it's not guns or it's not knives or it's not other shit. It's video games. Video games are as dangerous as any other weapon, which we know is a crock of shit. I'm sure that pretty much everyone, I hope to God anyway, watching this video hasn't murdered anybody. But, you know, the ignorant 50 plus people or the people who don't play video games don't know that. And when they see a guy like this D's who murdered three people and looked up their their home on Google Maps to find a nice home to kill people in, they're thinking, oh, maybe other people will start doing that now after they play video games. They'll go on Google Maps, find my home and kill me. And it's all because of video games. Scary stuff, man. I just feel like video games are going to constantly be under the line of fire or in you know the mainstream media's crosshairs until they are censored. And if they are censored, that's going to suck. It's going to really suck. All right, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.